Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. So we're in round two of round three of the water comparison series. All three of these waters already beat another water. So now they're fighting against each other to see which one makes it to round three. So here we go. We're going to do a comparison and a taste test and determine which one is the best out of these five. First up is Clear American Wild Cherry Water from Walmart. This is 68 cents. And this is flavored bubbling water. And next up is Smart Water Sparkling. This is the sparkling version of Smart Water. Next up, Ethos Water from Starbucks. This is $2.25. Five cents of each purchase goes to helping some kind of charity. Next up is Arrowhead Water from the west coast of the United States. This is a Nestle brand. And finally we have Ionic Sport Water. This is a bottle that has 330 milligrams of electrolytes and it has a high pH level of 8.0. If you want a more detailed review of each of these waters, go back to round one. I already did a review of each of these, a more thorough review. So we're just going to open them up and start doing a taste test comparison. Let's start with Arrowhead. And so I was thinking, I don't want to do the cherry water first because I'm worried that the flavors in this might overpower my senses and I wouldn't be able to do as good of a review on the still waters. Um, so I have, a, I have a clean palate right now in my mouth. So I'm going to start with the still waters and see if I can more thoroughly taste them. So here's Arrowhead. Tastes like a standard Nestle brand. Nestle uh, has the similar taste to Niagara bottles of water. Um, those are like the two main cheapo brands. And Arrowhead is part of the Nestle regional brands. Pull and Springs and Deer Park and the other three. Um, they, they just have regional brands in different parts of the United States. And Arrowhead happens to be in... Uh, California and the West Coast. It says that this brand was established in 1894. It was later purchased by Nestle. All right. So let's move on to sport water. It's kind of too hard to open that. I shouldn't have to use that much force. Anyway, this has the suction lid. good. Feels a little bit like heavier than this one. Yeah, it's like less of a plasticky taste. Feels a little bit heavier, a little bit colder too. Let's try the Ethos water. It's got the cheapo lid. I mean, this, the half-size lid is cheaper, but I guess it's also better for the environment. It uses less resources for the half-size lid. That's a good one, too. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to start off by just eliminating Arrowhead. Um... Because out of these three, Arrowhead is not as good. Um, they also have a similar version of Arrowhead without the suction lid, where it's the half size lid, and it looks just like the other Nestle regional brands. But I guess theoretically, this should the full size bottle with the suction lid should taste the same. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. Um, I just would say out of these three choices. This one's not as good. Alright, let's move on to the sparkling bottles of water. I hope they don't explode. Sometimes that happens with sparkling waters. Ooh, 
lots of bubbles. Smart water has the full size lid. I'm still unclear exactly what is smart about this water. <laughs> I think it's just the branding. I already reviewed the still version of this. Um, sparkling version just tastes like standard uh, sparkling water. It's not not a strong sparkling to it. It's not it's not burning my throat going down like the Topo Chino water did. But I am biased against sparkling waters. Um, yeah, the still version of this is like one of my mom's personal favorite bottles, the, uh, the smart, smart Water. I guess she feels smart drinking it. <clears throat> Hopefully this doesn't explode also. Last time this brand did, it like exploded water all over the place. Please don't. No, 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 no. All right, it did not explode. Like it rose a little bit, but it did not explode all over the place, which is good. Alright. This has a wild cherry taste to it. it. It tastes just like a cherry Coke. In my previous reviews, I reviewed sparkling flavored waters, and I compared all the different flavors... And I found out that, in my personal preference, the Wild Cherry is the best out of the flavored waters. Um, and I actually do like the taste of this. Well, this is really loud. I can hear this, like, still bubbling. Can you guys hear that? Um, and so this does taste really good, but it doesn't taste like water, you know? They say water in, in the front of the, the label, but I don't know if it really qualifies, if it has flavor to it, and if it has carbonation. <clears throat> Excuse me, it doesn't really seem like water. And so I think this would actually go really well with like, if you're at the movie theater and you're eating some popcorn, I think the flavor of this would be really good in that situation. But if you're just looking for fresh water, this is not your go-to choice. So anyway, I think I've gotten my point across. I'm going to eliminate both of the sparkling waters They're just not as good as the still waters. So, again, this review is just my personal opinion, just my personal preference. <clears throat> the Ionic Sport Water is from Giant Eagle, and they market it as being for athletes. It's made for athletes. It's a vapor distilled water, and it's bottled in Samford, Connecticut. That's why, okay, this is why I did the flavored waters near the end. Because now these kind of taste different. Because the flavoring from that stupid cherry sparkling water is still in my mouth. And so now, a minute later, these two are going to taste different. getting like a slight 
kind of plasticky taste to this one. Let's see if I can take off the lid. See if that's affecting the taste at all. Nope. Still tastes exactly the same. Uh, okay, the Ethos water. It's from Starbucks. Um, it's bottled in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And the founder of Ethos Water is Peter Thumb. I think that's a funny name, Peter Thumb, like a thumb. Uh, he actually he sold the company to Starbucks for a couple million dollars, but originally it was started by Peter Thumb. In, um, in, the, in my first review of Ethos Water, I talked about how I got this for free. <laughs> the first bottle. And I, I already told you guys that I found out on your birthday, you get a free Starbucks drink. Or you get anything from Starbucks for free, if it's on your birthday. And so that I, I was telling you guys, that's how I got the first bottle of Ethos. And then later I found out um, I read an article about a guy who created a bunch of Starbucks accounts and was getting Starbucks every single day for free. Um, there's, you know, if you Google, you can probably find the, the article about the guy. And so I've kind of been doing that, not to as much of an extent of that guy, but I have been creating just a bunch of fake Starbucks accounts and getting free water, free, like, sandwiches and salads and stuff. <laughs> Um, it's probably illegal. It's, I think it's technically fraud because I am lying about, uh, my birthday. And so I think technically, you know, if you lie, if you lie with the intent of getting something out of it, I think that's like the definition of fraud. So I've been creating these fake Starbucks accounts and getting stuff from them, but yeah, Starbucks is a, like a billion dollar company, they're one of the biggest companies in the world, I don't think they're worried about me getting a couple sandwiches and bottles of water. And I think, even, I, th I believe, even though I got this for free, I believe they still give five cents to a charity to help people around the world. I actually, I like the label of this. It's, it's like a simple logo. It's got the world on it. This bottle is actually kind of similar to Smart Water. It's just not as tall. I mean, the, the shape of the bottle itself. The, the curve on the top and the width is very similar. Smart Water is a a go-to bottle of mine that I compare a lot of other bottles to. Actually, speaking of that, this bottle is actually similar to Smart Water. <laughs> See? It's got this similar curve on the top. And it's actually, it's actually more similar because it's um, a similar height, also. Yeah. So, I mean, I could just say that Smart Water has a similar shape to Ion Water, but I think it just sounds better to say that Ion Water has a similar shape to Smart Water. Okay, let's just do a, you know, pick a winner.
Yeah, these are both, I mean, these are both good waters. But I wouldn't say either of these is great, to be honest. Um, like, they're not, they're not Starkey Springs, they're not Summit Springs water. Uh, but they're also not terrible. They're not, like, rose water. Like, I've been saying I've been getting this a lot for free lately. And, you know, I'm willing to spend the time to make an account to do that because it's a fine water. It's, um, it's a good quality water. Yeah. And I think the people at the store have no idea that you're even getting it for free. Because if you look at this, it does not have a price tag on it at all. And if you pay for it also, it would not have a, a price on it. And sometimes they hand you the receipt that they got when the machine printed out the order. It doesn't have a price on it. So I think the people at the Starbucks store, the physical location store, are none the wiser that you're scamming them and um, getting free Starbucks. So... If, you know, some of you guys watching this, if you want some free Starbucks, you should make some Starbucks accounts and um, just order through the app and get, you know, you can get some sandwiches, some drinks, you can get like a, if you, if you like, I don't really, really like coffee, but if you like coffee, you can get some free coffee there. Uh, normally... It's just, Starbucks is insanely expensive. They have these things called protein boxes, where it's like, this tiny, like, chicken sandwich, or they have a tiny, like, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's not even, like, a normal size. It's like a tiny sandwich. I think they give you, like, some carrots, you know, like, four carrots, four apple slices and like a small piece of cheese or something like that and like this small container like this it's really small container and i think the normal price for that is almost eight dollars it's like it's like seven something with tax um i think that's insane <laughs> that people would normally buy that at like eight dollars you know almost eight dollars for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some apples and carrots. Uh, but if you set up those fake accounts, like I was saying, you can, um, you know, tell them it's your birthday and get that for free. You know, if I was in a store, I might buy that for $2, maybe. But $8? That's crazy. I mean, people, with that Starbucks expensive stuff, people are just paying for the convenience. Because a lot of them, like, work downtown, and they don't have much time on their lunch break. So they're just paying of the con for the convenience of, you know, it, it being right there, and them not having to carry around a lunch all day, or worry about making the peanut butter and jelly sandwich the day before. They're just paying for the convenience, not the uh, food itself. Okay. That's my rant about Starbucks. So, I'm going to say that the winner, moving on to round three, is Ethos Water. Congratulations, Peter Thumb. You're uh, moving on to round three. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.